A historic day in our country, Donald Trump becoming the first former president to be convicted of a crime. We first got word just after four this afternoon that the jury in New York reached a verdict in the criminal hush money trial against the former president. Several minutes later, we learned Trump was found guilty on all 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Sheba Russell. We now know that Trump will be sentenced on July 11th and as our Seanette Wilson reports, the former president is now facing the extraordinary possibility of prison time. Former President Trump left the courthouse today saying that he is, quote, a very innocent man. He is now looking forward to a new fight in the form of an appeal. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. Former President Donald Trump pointing blame for a jury's unanimous guilty verdict handed down this evening, making him the first U.S. president a convicted felon. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. Cameras captured the former president leaving the New York City courthouse amid crowds of supporters and protesters. What they're doing to this man is disgusting. It's disgusting. It wouldn't happen to no one else. They're trying to stop him from campaigning. I'm not sure I expected it. I hoped for it. And it's time for dancing in the streets. The jury deliberated for about nine and a half hours over a course of two days before convicting Trump on all 34 counts of falsifying business records to conceal 130000 in hush money paid to porn star Stormy Daniels. The payments meant to silence Daniels and corrupt the 2016 election. And while this defendant may be unlike any other in American history, we arrived at this trial and ultimately today at this verdict in the same manner as every other case that comes through the courtroom doors. By following the facts and the law and doing so without fear or favor. Questions loom about whether Trump will go to prison, will he continue running for president, and how long an appeal process could take. Meanwhile, Trump doubling down on his innocence as he rapped with reporters following the verdict. We didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man, and it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. Again, a sentencing hearing is set for July 11th. That is four days before the Republican National Convention. Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.